Welcome back to another crypto video. And we can build this dream together, standing strong forever. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Phantom is looking absolutely crazy, guys. $3.13 basically soaring and preparing and edging its way towards new all-time highs and just before we do get into the video i just want to say massive thanks to all the subscribers who've just hit 1000 so that is absolutely insanity did not expect that to happen so quickly and also thanks to my new patron cara and thank you to peter alp and also mub the free patrons over here so if you want to join the patronage check the description down below for the exclusive benefits it's literally the price of a coffee so let's crack on today Phantom is trading at $3.15, we've ranked 27 in the market. We can see that we're up 9.4% over the 24 hours. And over the basically 24 hours, we can see that this is quite a large chunk of volume relative to the actual overall market cap, which shows a significant traction, massive network growth at the moment. And everyone has their eyes on Phantom, which is why I was talking about those other coins, such as uh, Harmony One, Cardano, Chainlink, Synthetics, Everyone is sleeping on other projects because everyone is so absolutely eyes on Phantom, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, every coin has its moments and time to shine. So Phantom, currently 8 billion market cap. We can see over 30 days we're up 100%. So it's absolutely downtrend resistant. It's looking fantastic. And you can't deny that it doesn't look super, super strong right now and super, super bullish. So everyone is feeling bullish. Um, and we can see that, you know, the total value locked is up to 6.21 billion. And that's across all parachains. Um, you know, looking at par par uh, Polygon, uh, Harmony, Ethereum, and all the other ones. So that includes liquidity pairs, that, that includes staking pools, where people have locked in to capitalize on more crypto. So if we take a look at Phantom, we can see that we're trading at $3.00. 12 um and if we just quickly hop into that daily time frame we're just at 74 on the relative strength index so we're kind of leaning towards the overbought zone and the the volume is dropping away just just little by little but we did break out that huge resistance range on the diagonal resistance there because we had this symmetrical triangle and it was pretty much inevitable so we can see on the daily time frame we are rather overextended now on the 20 day moving average, which usually means there's going to be a bit of a cool down. But we've been bumped, you know, we've been stopped exactly at this resistance level. Um, and we said 317 was pretty much where we would almost get stopped at um, in terms of any momentum. And it was just below that, really. But if we hop into that four hour time frame, you know, yesterday we were talking about this particular um, consolidative channel whether we were going to see continuation to the upside because we had this high, this high, this high, and the, the higher lows that were coming through. And we broke to the upside, which took us to $3.15. We had the price target at $3.17. So we're pretty, pretty damn close over there, guys. Um, of course, we've got this resistance right over here at $3.18. And until we break through there with confidence, that's, you know, that's the one blockage. It's the one barricade to getting back to $3.49. Um, once we get to 3 49 that's when we have the smooth sailing, the clear skies. If we pull out that Fibonacci extension again, that's when I think we're going to come up to $4.09, potentially lower prices first, of course, such as $4.12, such as $4.44. But these are three price targets that I very much have in mind. However, we should also look at the bearish scenario here because we have taken a massive, massive leap over the last few days. We've already had a pump in the space of 16 days, 138%, which is pretty, pretty crazy. So that's from this swing low. And if we were to look at the other swing low, um, just to compare some of the data, you know, the swing low here, that was a 233%. So we had 233% there. And we've got 134% over here. So really, really significant gains, nevertheless. And I do think the Phantom is going to just you know, pounce into that $4 territory rather soon. If we go into the one hour time frame. Yes, so we had, I don't know where my little line went. We had this consolidation pattern. 
and yeah, it was actually a bit of a fake out occurred. You can see we came, we pumped all the way to three dollars, then we came all the way back down to two eighty. It just shows you the volatility, and that that is just a byproduct of the trading volume in relation to the overall market cap, but also because of the low market cap itself. That any you know price and buying um, volume has a much bigger shock on the price, which is really really cool to see. Um, but we just got to get up to this three dollar eighteen range, guys. Um, and you know it doesn't look too bad the rsi has been cooling off over the days and it looks like it's just climbing back up right now but um i can't see any major major bearish scenarios or major major bullish scenarios except pumping through this 317 so this three dollars 17 is super crucial that we must break through this in order to see more continuation to the upside and we have got these nice rising um candles right now higher lows high highs looking super duper bullish um, but yeah, we should definitely just wait and see what happens first. If you did enter any trades around $1.39, it would be sensible to take profits around about now. Um, if we check out the support levels that we've got from here, the the first level of support would be $2.73, then we have $2.46, so I wouldn't be surprised if we did fall back down at some point, maybe if we even just retested you know, $2.75 or something like that. Um, you know, if we just came down, we test around here, and then make the breakthrough. Pun me. Or we could make another scenario, such as, um, you know, we don't retest at all, and we just get extremely bullish. Then we retest the support, and then we fly high. There's lots of different ways you can speculate this, but do bear in mind that we are overbought on the RSI, and usually greed leads to some kind of um you know opposite direction when things get greedy things cool off things steam down people get annoyed and people get scared and sell and therefore the smart man in the wheels end up you know stealing your bags at walmart prices again so <laughs> um yeah that's that's the main gist of today really so the conclusion is with phantom we need to push through three dollars 17 which is a critical resistance zone and then we should see the prior all-time high $3.50 in the next few days should we keep the momentum going if we get rejected here then we could come back down potentially to this $2.67 mark again where we have lots of support um, as you can see from this wick around 267 so yeah massive amount of support over here at 265 if we break below 265 then we come back down to test lower levels at 235 and so forth so let's keep our eyes on phantom for now i think it is going to bust through 317 unfortunately i took profits way too early like i do in every single coin that i get in uh but that's that's it it's looking very good i hope you enjoyed the video guys if you are new here do subscribe to the channel hit the like button leave a comment down below if you did like the video and uh if you want to become a patron please do so it's the only the price of the coffee you can find that in the description down below so see you in the next one.